pathology, the term pleomorphism or pleomorphic is used when there are various distinct forms within a tumour producing architectural diversity. But the more frequent use of the term pleomorphism is when there is variation in size and shape of cells and or the nuclei. As the name would suggest, pleomorphic adenoma or mixed tumour of the salivary gland is a really good example of pleomorphism in a tumour. And the term pleomorphic is used because of the histological diversity. Here is a pleomorphic adenoma and it can clearly be seen that there is architectural diversity within the tumour. On the left there is a proliferation of benign epithelial cells and towards the right there is mature benign cartilage. In pathology however the most frequent use of the term pleomorphism is where there is variation in size and shape of cells and or nuclei. This is a good example of pleomorphism in a tumour where there is marked variation in size and shape of cells and nuclei. So as we pan across this tumour you can see some nuclei are small and round, some a little larger and ovoid and some are multilobulated and rather bizarre. There is an overlap between the terms pleomorphism and anaplasia but they are not the same. Pleomorphic cells for example are not necessarily anaplastic and pleomorphic cells may be benign but anaplastic cells are often pleomorphic and anaplastic cells are malignant. Cellular pleomorphism is often a feature of high-grade poorly differentiated malignant tumours, a good example being pleomorphic liposarcoma. But benign tumours may also exhibit cellular and nuclear pleomorphism, and a good example of this is a pleomorphic lipoma. This is a nice example of a pleomorphic lipoma, and it is composed of adipocytes, with nuclei of varying size and shape and some arranged in florets forming giant cells. So this is a good example of cellular and nuclear pleomorphism in a benign tumour. This is another tumour of fat but this is a pleomorphic liposarcoma, a malignant tumour and it is called a pleomorphic liposarcoma because the cells and nuclei show extreme variation in size and shape 